What's going on guys, Vex here, and today I've got some Awakening DLC gameplay for you on the map Gauntlet, and uh, just going to be talking about my early thoughts on the Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC as a whole, and what I think of it so far, having played all the maps and zombies and all that good stuff. So, um, also want to apologize real quick for not getting this video out sooner, um, had some issues with my recording software and some other stuff, but I think I got it all figured out right now, and the uploads will be back on track. So, uh, getting into the DLC, you've got the four maps that are new and the zombies map. And overall, I'm not really impressed. And it's not, no surprise, I didn't have high expectations coming into this. Um, I knew these maps would play a lot uh, on PC like they do on console. And it's just not very exciting. And I don't know what it is, but uh, it seems like every time there's a new uh, DLC pack that comes out with new maps... Instead of rushing around and trying to learn the map, everyone wants, just, just wants to camp. And that makes it even more annoying. I can't tell you how many people I've run into that are using uh, a shotgun or a uh, combat knife and just sitting in a corner and waiting for somebody to walk by and then just killing them. So uh, that's really annoying. <laughs> but uh, overall, the maps, I really don't like the way they're designed. Um, they all look really, really good. But as I said in my previous video... The map design um, doesn't really rely that much on um, the looks. Like, looks are a good aspect, but at the same time, that's not mainly what makes a good map. Uh, really, it's the gameplay and how the flow of the map is and all that, and I really don't feel like these maps have very good flow at all. Um, it is still early on, so things could change later on, but I highly doubt it. And uh, it's just pretty annoying. Um... I've ran into quite a few like full parties and a lot of other people that are just like camping together, which is really annoying too, but uh, I guess that might change in time or maybe not. I don't know. There's a lot of campers in Black Ops 3, but uh, that's kind of besides the point. But yeah, the maps, uh, I'm just not too impressed. Uh, Skyjack is not really that great in my opinion. It seems like they ruined a lot of the great things that made Skyjack or Hijacked rather a great map. Um, and uh, it's just not very exciting. And these new maps, although visually they look great, uh, they, they're not designed that well. Um, there's just a lot of weird positions, a million corners to hide in, and just like annoying spots to deal with. And I just don't really think it's that exciting um, overall. I really don't play the maps just to look at the visuals and admire them, but then have terrible gameplay. So I'm not too impressed, but uh, really... All the maps are not that great. Um, Splash is alright. Uh, this map gauntlet is alright, but really nothing special. Um, I hate Skyjacked. And the other one, Rise, is pretty bad as well. I don't really like it either. So, uh, so far, I'm really not impressed with these new maps. But the only thing that I really do enjoy, and I haven't played that much of, sadly, but uh, that's the Zombies map. The Zombies map is actually really cool. Uh, I think they designed that very well, and there's a lot of cool aspects of it. It seems like there's a ton of Easter eggs, and just a lot of fun stuff to do in that map. So uh, on that note, that is a great addition for the DLC, but really these maps are kind of disappointing, but at the same time, I didn't have high expectations for them in the first place. Uh, knowing what they were on console, I knew coming over to PC it wasn't going to be that much different. So uh, no surprises there, but... Hopefully the next DLC map uh, they come out with, or DLC map pack they come out with will be better. And uh, even if it is better, that's not really saying too much. But uh, we need something better than this because this is pretty disappointing. And uh, hopefully they bring a DLC weapon. But I'm pretty sure they're going to throw it in the supply drops if they do bring anything else. Because that's just making them a ton of money. But they really should have done uh, what they did with the, uh, I think it was a Revolution DLC with, with the Peacekeeper. Uh, having the ability to just buy the DLC and get the DLC weapon was great, you know, and it wasn't like absurdly overpowered or anything like that. So uh, I wish they would do something like that. But really with these maps, I don't know what it is. I would just like some more simplistic maps. Uh, visually, they can look visually good and have great flow. But I think overall, I just care about the flow of the map. Uh, maps like Raid and... Uh, what are some other ones? I liked uh, Backlot from Call of Duty 4, even though it's a completely different series. But just some really nice maps. 
that have great flow, that play great, uh, don't encourage camping and all this other crap. Not a million head glitch spots. Uh, that's not really too exciting for me, but uh, that seems to be all Treyarch cares about putting into their maps. But uh, definitely, I'm hoping we get maybe some smaller maps too, because we keep getting these humongous maps, and instead of running around, everyone just wants to camp on them. And we've got snipers, we've got LMGs, we've got assault rifles, and all these people... Especially with now the stock sucks in Black Ops 3, it just encourages people to stay on a head glitch more because uh, that aggressive play style with the assault rifles doesn't really work out too well uh, compared to past Call of Duty, so uh, that's pretty annoying. But uh, hopefully coming in March, they'll throw out a big update and fix some serious issues, and uh, that's actually going to be my next Black Ops 3 video. I'll be talking about probably the top things that ruin... Black Ops 3 on PC and kind of overall, but uh, I'm all out of time here. Uh, final score is 40 and 5. Pretty good gameplay. Uh, my friend Demon actually got a nuclear this game, so that's pretty cool. Congrats to him. And be sure to leave me a comment below if you've played the Awakening DLC and let me know what you think of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.